Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! We are here. It is Wucha fucking time, y'all. I'm Mad Mike. That's Sorgatron. Sorg, this is an exciting show. Mike, Sorg. I'm here to have a great time talking about Lucha Underground. <laughs> Sorg, underselling as ever. <laughs> Sorg, this this is it. By the way, Sorg, did you know that Dario Cueto devised a tournament? I understand. It's the greatest idea he's ever had. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and man, oh, man. Uh, did we ever have the finals of the tournament tonight? And... A world title match and kind of a mask versus mask match. <laughs> kind of. Uh, it's kind of. So, sort of. Which is really interesting since it's set up for the mask situation in a later match. Yes. All right. Uh, Sorg, but you know how we do here on Lucha. How we do? Qual es tu palabra para, para Lucha Underground? Uh, my, 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 my word is family. Oh. Just, just like the Fast and Furious movies. Oh no, not like no, no, not really. Just like the Fast and Furious not movies. Really. Nope. Um. All right. My my word is confused. <laughs> confused. What? Confused. What? My word is mi, mi palabra is confused. I I didn't want to look it up in Spanish, but yeah, it it's confused, and I'll I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Um, Sorg. Qual es tu bueno para Lucha Underground? What's your good? Uh, wrestling? <laughs> uh, wrestling? Yeah, yeah, the wrestling the wrestling the, was pretty the great. Wrestling being amazing? I mean, you got everything you wanted. You got you got everybody you want to face each other between Pentagon and Puma and and uh, and and those other guys. Yeah, my my good this week um you know what? My good goes to Dario Cueto for the biggest swerve. <laughs> for the biggest God, fucking swerve. D- D- Dario had his Vince McMahon moment tonight. It was me, Mysterio. It was me the whole time. <laughs> I'm glad you did that because I'm pretty sure if I tried to do it, it would tur- it would have sounded like Mario. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, Dario, like, and we even had a segment to build it up saying that no one's going to interfere. Now, I wonder, did Dario do that because someone he couldn't no, fire interfered? No, you always know something's up when they say nobody on the Lucha Underground roster is allowed to interfere. It's strictly forbidden. Yeah. I, I mean, I think he did it to mainly avenge, avenge Matanza. Mm-hmm. Because if you remember, Ray was the one that put Matanza through um, the temple. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just and I wasn't expecting it either. Wasn't expecting it, especially with Puma winning. I'm like, okay, we're building to Puma Ray. That's 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 good. But now we're getting Puma and Johnny. And I love that. Like, there is we don't have to complete the threads, right? Like we put mm-hmm. that out there, and maybe this happened some other spot, but it doesn't have to be. It's not predictable. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Puma, like, if I had to rank where I would have thought the four matchups would be, the four possible outcomes, Puma versus Johnny probably would have been the least likely scenario for me. I don't know about you. Would have been the least likely scenario for me. Absolutely. Um, all right, but not every show is perfect, not even Lucha Underground. So, uh, Sword, Qualis to Malo. Um, I really wanted to see that mask versus mask match actually be a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, and, and you know the weird thing? Like, I feel like we missed something. Because my, my bad was, uh, Mimala was Joey Ryan. Because I think we missed something. Okay. Because Joey Ryan took the mask off Veneno to reveal Cortez Castro, obviously. But he kept saying, I told you, I told... We've never had one segment where Joey Ryan and Veneno have even interacted, let alone there have been suspicion. I... Yeah, like there's a segment missing or something, right? That maybe yeah. didn't make it. Like between yeah, I mean, that and, and... I mean, he told... He's like, I told you to Dario. 
Yeah, but that that was just last week. But there still hadn't been any interaction before then. Yeah, and, and I didn't like that. It was, like, it, it was, like if they wrestled in the first round of the Cueto Cup, and he's like, I know this guy's moves. Like, mm-hmm. okay, that I would completely buy. That I'd completely be all in on because Joey Ryan was his partner. Like, okay, I would get that. But as far as I can remember, they never even had any interaction. Like that that's the one that's the one thing that just bothered me about. I'm not sure I mean, the end result's probably gonna be fine. Like we're probably gonna get Joey Ryan versus um Cortez Castro, which is gonna be great. But uh yeah, it was just weird. But um Sorg, uh, what would be your change this week? Pada to Cambio. I thought that wasn't my change. No, that was my bad. My, yeah. my change would be let's let's put let's let's have the match. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. I yeah I, I guess I kind of rolled it together. Um other than that no my my change wise would be um geez, I no I don't really have one. Okay. All right. Oh no uh, no no, my... no I have one. I have one. I would love if Johnny Mundo got screwed over by um that lip nicky kid coming in and screwing him up. <laughs> Revenge for Boone the Bounty Hunter. Hashtag get booned. All right. All right um, I'm sorry. In my mind, Boone the Bounty Hunter's canon to Lucha Underground. It has to be. I I completely foresee that. Like Boone the Bounty Hunter was the show that um that that their agent got Giant Mundo. <laughs> yes. So like the like in the, is... in the off season for Lucha Underground. That's what Johnny does. He plays this character called Boone the Bounty Hunter. There you go. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it all works. And he even chased down Chavo Guerrero once. So it's, See? it's all there. It all comes together. It all connects. It's all connected. Um, but my change this week, I don't know if this was exactly the week to have Johnny Mundo say that he would take the Lucha Underground title to different companies and that he has offers when, you guessed it, Johnny Impact debuted on Global Force Wrestling tonight. See, I was wondering about that because I knew he was coming up, and I'm like, I wonder if he loses the belt on this and then he shows up tomorrow as like a continuation of that situation. See, th- and, and, and this is kind of an extension of my change. There have been rumors flying all over the place that A, Ricochet's going to WWE, and two, Chai Mundo's going to stay in Global Force. Um, what the fuck does that mean for Ultima Lucha? Ultima Lucha? I'm re- hence, I'm confused. And I'm again, very confused. And again, I mean, this is a case of this is something that hasn't filmed in over a year, so these guys have to do something to work, right? True. So, and we also have the Gift of the Gods. Right. We also have the Gift of the Gods. No one's been crowned Gift of the Gods yet. In fact, the fact that we have two godlike figures running around, uh, three, really, between Mill, Cage, and Matanza. God, imagine if those three guys are the other ones with the medallion sword. If they're in there with the rabbit tribe. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just imagine that. <laughs> That's a trio's... Fuck it. That's a trio's match I want to see. <laughs> And Cage, Cage, Muertes, and Matanza versus the Rabbit Tribe. Joseph, make that happen. And and if you're worried about like whatever gets tied up at Ultima Lucha Trace, that was again filmed over a year ago, and something happens with something something important gets signed somewhere, and they can't be involved in Lucha Underground Four, and maybe they had a belt going out. I have an easy answer for you, Mike. Do you want to guess? You want to guess what my easy answer is? Kill them off. <laughs> Damn, that was actually you're right. Yeah, you just have a backstage <laughs> segment where where um you know Matanza is bloody and he's carrying somebody's mask or face um and 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 the belt. <laughs> My kingdom for Matanza carrying off a bloody face. <laughs> hey, I was gonna say a mask, oh, know, but gosh. but but I guess you know that that doesn't apply to everybody. It depends on where this goes, you know, or just like a bloody headband if it's Mundo or. Or, no, blood-stained sunglasses that he just crushes in his hand. <laughs> and like, like, uh, like a goddamn Iron Man helmet. Just 
just crush it like Thanos crushes it. He just That's shows great. up with the belt. There's another, I don't know, Aztec warfare for the belt or something. And uh, there you go. Yeah, like I said, I'm not overly concerned about what could potentially happen for a season four who has the belt. I, it's just kind of confusing, especially seeing Mundo on impact. And the last time we had that situation didn't work out so well for the guy. <laughs> Fucking Hernandez. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. But I mean, still, those matches. Jeez. Oh, my, my Atlanta. They were really, really good. If you want to see the best of all four of those individuals, a Pentagon, uh, Puma, uh, uh, Mysterio, and, and, and Mundo, then like th- this week's episode was it. I mean, I think Pentagon's had better matches. I think Pentagon's yes. match with Muertes with Muerte, with Muerte was better. Even uh, Pentagon, per, personal Pen- friend. Pentagon's match with all three of the Lotus <laughs> tribe well, were, were, were actually pretty good, too. Yeah, I mean that that was just the entire episode. <laughs> but uh yeah, I mean but I think this was Ray's best match since uh coming to Lucha Underground. Absolutely. I, I think yeah, I Absolutely. think it was. And the Dominic thing was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would can, have loved to see Dominic we, do a six one. Can we put a shout a to, to, to a shout to Lucha Underground for actually having imposing looking security? Yeah. That's a, that's a good one. And good on Dominic for taking a pot shot at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure good. he probably. I'm sure he probably knew who that one was. Uh, no, I know, you know, you know. He's like, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get you good on this. We're gonna give you a good look. You're not gonna be that blonde kid from uh, that that went over the rope a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, Sorg. I, I think it's kind of obvious. Where, oh, where do you rank Lucha Underground this week? Um, one and higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Lucha's number one for me, too. Now, Sorg, if you had to take your favorite two matches on TakeOver and compare them with this week's Lucha Underground, where would that ranking be? Oof. Oof. Because I, I think it's kind of... Because if I, I'm taking my my favorite matches, I'm taking the tag match, and I'm taking the Asuka match. Yeah. And that's a really, that's a really tough draw. That is that's a tough really, draw. really close. That's really... Um... That's Ooh. really, really close in my head. Ooh, the storytelling. Oh, their storytelling was so good. The, I'll take those same matches because I wouldn't take yeah. the main event. I wouldn't take uh-huh. – uh, I thought Gargano was good. But, like, 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 if you took those and Gargano replaced the mask versus mask match, that wins. Yeah. On a show-to-show basis. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's not it's not fair to compare a takeover. No, to no, no, but it's a good it's thought. Not. It's a good thought experiment. I, yeah. mm, man, I so so I I love you know I love the storytelling of all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But I think I would put over like the Oscar Ember uh, over. At least the Cueto Cup final. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Like, for story. Like, Puma and Pentagon had a match, and it was a great match. Good. But it didn't, yeah. like, but it was just, we're going balls to the wall, and, you know, that's it. Like, maybe not Yeah, like, so there wasn't much. much of a story. Like, like the, the Vampiro stuff didn't even really play into thank a factor. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say that. Like, the Vampiro stuff was barely played up in that match, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like, I would have, I would have loved to see a backstage segment beforehand with Vampiro talking him up like, Hey, I've told you everything I know about Pentagon. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. his strengths, you know, his weaknesses, like, you, like, and we didn't get that. And I thought maybe a backstage segment like that helps the match a little bit, but right. otherwise and it was think, just kind of a standard match. And I think we'll, we'll probably get something in a little bit, right? Yeah. I okay. think so too. Yep. So, okay. But yeah, just fun thought experiment because both both companies had really big shows this week. Absolutely, so. absolutely, and both really delivered. Mm-hmm. I'm really curious as to where we go with Lucha next week because this is the first time in a long time we don't know anything that's happening next week on Lucha. You you mean all of us collectively, or yeah, just all of generally? us all of, all of us collectively? Oh, that's right. That's because- just- because the, there's no more tournament. There's no tournament, and they didn't really say anything that was happening next week either. They did not. 
So and it's and not, there and there was no and there was no post credit stinger. So I mean, I I think what you I don't know how many episodes are left. Probably only a few, but it has um, to be. If I remember correctly, they're going through October. Really? That's what I, that's what I thought. To Joseph said, "How long is the season? What did I'm gonna I'm <laughs> gonna get my forty bucks worth out of this one? Holy crap! Hold on, let me see what it says on here. Um, wow. I okay. Then maybe we do. I I thought we would get like. Two or yeah, three episodes like it, of set no, up it's for not Ultima. Like, yeah, it's not like Ultima Lucha is next week or anything like that. I thought they said Ultima Lucha was in October. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we I think we still have another month of Lucha. I mean, we before are, we are up to thirty-two episodes. Yeah, I thought you said there were forty. Did you say there was forty? Um, I thought he said there were forty. Last season was twenty-six. <laughs> yeah, and season one was. 39. Yeah. I, I thought he said we were getting like 40 episodes. That makes sense then. Yeah. So, yeah. So we still have a, a while for Lucha. Let me let me give you some, if that's where we're at, by comparison, you look at season one, because I think you can compare them pretty well, since it, they're, they're probably going to be roughly the same episodes. Uh, this episode, episode 32, I think we're on uh, for season three. I want to double check that. But uh, season, season 32, yep. Quato Cup for season three is the first ever all night long for season one. Whoa, that's and imagine <laughs> Sorg and who, who was, was the in first it? O- it was Puma and Johnny Mundo. Puma and Johnny Mundo, and now we just wow, set up. Wow, that's that's amazing synergy. It, it, that is amazing synergy. It's symmetrical. It's symmetrical. Yeah, and and like I said, we've had more than that. Uh, more than. I get, as season two was a shorter season in general, uh, with twenty six. So, yeah. All right, all right. But there's a little bit well, of something to chew on you guys out there. Yes, indeed. And uh, now that now the Quato Cup is over, I think we need to work on getting getting our buddies back on here to try and mm-hmm. squeeze some more of that juice out. Squeeze the juice. I mean, yes. you, you don't know when season four is going to come at all. So you got to get while he, while the luch is getting as good. This is true. All right, uh, so Sorg, where can the good people find you on the internet? Sorgatronmedia.com, where I'm pondering lucha things. <laughs> and you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet all sorts of lucha things and post GIF reactions for what I think the match is like. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. that happens from time to time. All right, uh, so for next week, we don't know what the hell we're getting from Lucha, but we're excited for it on the Mid-Week War!